We have a lot of things to do. Currently, we are dealing with the controversial case of missing persons involved in online sabon. As the families cry their pleas for help, and as we face the senators during Senate hearing, I enjoy all the officers involved not to be complacent, but instead double your effort. Leave no stone unturned as we seek, as we seek for truth and justice. to district in the National Capital Region. In 2019, he returned to be the group's Deputy Director for Administration and Chief of Anti Transnational Crime Unit, CIEG. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm humbled to stand before you today, filled with so much gratitude in my heart, as I accept the rare privilege of leading the Criminal Investigation and Detection Group. I am honored as well to be back again to lead the Premier investigative arm of the Philippine National Police, bringing in my experience and familiarity with the job. With this blessing, I acknowledge that without the divine intervention of our Almighty God, I will not be here. And thus, let me express my heartfelt thanksgiving to our God for His continuous guidance in my career. Also allow me to make mention of the people who made this event possible. Of course, first and foremost, our CPMP, Police General Leonardo Bernardo Carlos. My sincerest gratitude and appreciation to our CPMP for this opportunity. His trust and confidence on my capability to lead CIDG will be my fuel to run this group. I thank him also for his guidance for me to seize the opportunity for promotion as Deputy Commander of Area Police Command Visayas. Likewise, I would not reach this far if not for my lifetime inspiration, my family. And allow me to acknowledge my wife, Letlet, and my children, Shelly, Junelli, and Joriel, thank you for your never-ending love and support on my career. I also want to thank the PNP Command Group, Police Lieutenant General, Joselito M. Veracruz, our outgoing TDCA, Police Lieutenant General Israel Ephraim Dixon, our newly designated TDCA, and Police Lieutenant General Rodel Sermonia, our newly designated TBCO. Thank you very much, sirs, for all your guidance and support on my career. And words are not enough to say how grateful I am being blessed with upperclassmen and senior officers like you. Thank you once again, sirs. Truly, CIDG is very special to me. Spending my junior years in this group 
honed, honed my investigative skills as an officer in the PNP. And now, as I speak before you, as the IDG director, I can't help but finally turn back time as I reminisce those challenging and productive years. I am proud to say that I was designated as provincial officer of five provinces in Region 4A and in Region 3, and two districts in National Capital Region. With accomplishments I delivered during those times, I was awarded as the CIDG's Provincial Officer of the Year in 2003. With the vast experiences I gained, I was designated as CIDG Deputy Director for Administration in 2019. And now, I am more than excited to be back to my once considered home and serve at the highest level of command as CIDG Director. The experiences, skills, and knowledge I gained for having been assigned at CIDG from my police senior inspector to police superintendent years and as DDA give me more enthusiasm to accept the challenge of becoming CIDG director. Needless to say, with the familiarity I gained in this craft, I know in my mind and in my heart that I can perform well in this job. But of course, I cannot do this alone. At this point, it is at this point that I call on the support of the men and women of CIDG. From this day forward, let us raise more the bar of excellence in delivering efficient and effective investigative and detective services to our community. Let the, let the three Ds of our CPNP be our guide in the performance of our mandated task. Let us ensure discipline in our ranks, observe proper decorum at all times, and every member of the group must distinctly contribute towards the attainment of the goals of the PNP organization. Adhering with this guidance, for sure, we can never go wrong. We have a lot of things to do. Currently, we are dealing with the controversial case of missing persons involved in online sabong. As the families cry their pleas for help, and as we face the senators during Senate hearing, I enjoy all the officers involved not to be complacent, but instead double your effort. Leave no stone unturned as we, seek, as we seek for truth and justice. With the fast approaching national and local elections, political rivalries all over the Philippines will be intense. And I want all personnel in the field to brace the challenges as we have a huge task of investigating inevitable election-related incidents. With the strict adherence to the rule of law, let us prove to the people we serve that they have a police force, particularly investigative arm, that they can depend on, which the public truly deserve. With your cooperation, hard work, and dedication coupled with support of our chief PNP and the unceasing guidance of our Almighty God, I am confident that we can successfully accomplish our mission. Before I end, let me also congratulate my predecessor, Police Major General Albert Ignatius Tacopo Ferro, sir, for his competent and effective stewardship of this group during his watch. And of course, congratulations, sir. On your retirement, we wish you the best as you finally enjoy your life with your family. Congratulations, sir, and advance. Happy birthday, sir. Again, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to our CPNP, Police General Leonardo Bernardo Carlos, 
for the promotion. Again, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to our GPNP, Police General Leonardo Bernardo Carlos, for the promotion and for the position. With this opportunity, we will give our 100 support on his leadership until the end of his term for the betterment of the Philippine National Police. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay ang Criminal Investigation and Detection Group. Mabuhay ang Philippine National Police. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat.